Well, 2023 ended as our planet's hottest year ever recorded, and many climate scientists are also confident it's never been hotter any time in the last 125,000 years. Chase Kane digs into the numbers as we start a new year. There are different ways to measure Earth's overall temperature, and that can produce slight differences in exactly how hot 2023 was. But the important takeaways are this. Last year was the hottest year in recorded history, and that humans are driving that change. Over the last 2000 years, you can see how our planet started rapidly warming along with the Industrial Revolution when we started burning coal, oil and gas. Another way to look at it is with the warming stripes. Blue represents below average years and red above average. Climate scientist Ed Hawkins, who created the stripes, posted that last year was hot by such a large margin. I think we need a new color. And speaking of red and blue, 2024 could be the year that we stop viewing climate change as a political issue. We're so used to thinking of climate as a fringe political issue, which, to be honest, it was maybe six or eight or ten years ago. But it's not that way anymore, especially when young people decide to show up. I've spent a lot of time uh, working in communities uh, where there are people from across the ideological spectrum, right? And they absolutely care about this issue. Matter of fact, I'll tell you, I've never once had to convince a farmer that climate change is happening, and I've worked with a lot of them. Uh, so I think the way to go about this is to think about this in terms of lives and livelihoods, and that's really what we're talking about. And along with being an election year, scientific consensus is that 2024 will again and break the record as the hottest year. But the good news is that we already have all the tools we need to address climate change. In San Francisco, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane.